Robin, I'm 37 and I'm from Essex. I call myself a drag queen. I've been cross-dressing since I was a little boy, probably. I'm not trying to necessarily look like a woman. I'm wearing outrageous clothes as opposed to day-to-day -day wear. It's kind of like a ridiculous, glittered, hot mess. Drag is kind of like this superpower, right? If you put on your drag and then you're in a club and it's like you get to kind of enter this other state, I suppose, you know? So like literally like the seas of the club part to let you through. A lot of the kind of clubs you go to here, especially the drag clubs, there's a lot of fashion, serious, sideways glancing sort of attitude that happens. And Sink the Pink was just the utter opposite of that. Sink the Pink has quite a family, you know? So kind of being gradually welcomed into that family was such a lovely, lovely experience. It becomes part of who you are, certainly part of who your drag is. So I have a female partner. I wouldn't necessarily describe myself as straight. I think we'd probably both define as queer. I was in drag when we met. I fancy women, you know, I fancy women so much, I probably want to be one occasionally. And it's odd, because I'll be walking down the street and I'll be like, oh my God, she's hot. And then I'm like, or do I just like those clothes that she's wearing? And maybe I'm going to go and get that. I don't know how I'd describe my look, kind of hoochie, sort of slightly fetishy Essex girl. <laughs> I suppose. It used to be put on a frock, but now there's fake tits and there's bum padding. So you can walk out on the catwalk and suddenly it's like, he's got no cock, but he's got tits and his entire body and everything kind of changes. Using makeup, you can totally reshape the way your face looks and you're lightening bits and contouring to bring in your cheekbones. It is quite a long process. It takes 45 minutes, something like that. It is very much a transformation that, that takes place.